Hi guys, I'm back and uh, I have a really cute project uh, in mind. So um, for the people wondering, I haven't had my PET scan uh, results in yet. So uh, I just thought I'd make a, a video anyway. Um, this is going to be something really funny, really cute, really nice. So I'm just sort of looking at the colors uh, this one not so much. I have some of these colors have silicone in it So you can see that they're starting to sell up a little bit uh, This one I kind of like but it's a little blare not so you know interesting But maybe we can make it interesting. So I'm going to put these away And I was going to clean my hands which I can't on my bathrobe because this is my good bathrobe so um, we'll just do that. <laughs> okay, now you're probably thinking, tell us what you're gonna do. Well, no, not really, not yet. So um, the colors I want, I'm using uh, fluid acrylics, but you can just water down your normal acrylics if you wanna do this. So I'm getting a paper that is the size that I need. And I'm just putting a little bit of also, oh no, no, don't use that one. I'm putting all sorts of colors on it. And we're going to let it go around and around and around. Just because it has to be fully covered for this to work. Well, maybe not all the way, but a long way. Oh, I think that one has silicone in it. Maybe this one doesn't. Let's put a little bit of dark in here, not too much, because we want to really keep it light. Okay, dribble, dribble, dribble. Now I think I would like a little bit of green, but, or maybe this color. I don't think this one has the silicone in it. There you go. Now we're going to see how that works out. So we put two on top of each other. Like that. Then I'm going to be just pushing the paint around. Because like I said, I want it to be almost fully covered. It doesn't really have to be all the way through, but it does have to be mostly covered. Okay, that looks kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more. So I'll do the <coughs> the other way around. There you go. Oh, that looks better. That is really nice. I think that's what we need. And I see a couple of bubbles popping, but so one of them does have silicone in it. Okay, now I'll reveal what I'm going to do with this. So once this is dry, I'm going to peel it off. Uh, okay, I peeled this one off. See, this was one of those decalmania things I made. And I peeled the top layer off. So this is really thin. So what I was thinking is, I made a frame, and that's how it's going to fit. See that? Maybe I need a little bit more there, and I can still do that because it's wet. Let's see which color, a little bit of purple, I think. I like the purple bit down here. So we're going to put on one little drop and a little drop of white. So if you're going to do this and you see that you don't have the full coverage, you can always just put another one on, pull it off, pull it on, pull it off. See that? And you just fix that spot. Now, once it's dry, I'm going to peel it off. <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to peel it off and I'm going to put it on this frame. 
and then I'm going to make it into a lamp. Yeah, that fits perfectly. And the other side, put that away. The other side, because it's going to be a square lamp. Yeah. <clears throat> I just need to have that not so much white. Otherwise, it looks like I did something that didn't work. Now I really, I was going to say the F word. <laughs> Let's not do that. We are not allowed to say the F word. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. And now it's totally covered, so that's going to work. Eh, maybe even better like this. I really like that. Just a little bit more subtle. Okay, that's it. We're going to keep that. Now, when we put this uh, on the... Uh, I, I call this a sort of a frame. And then we're going to stick it together. I already made a mount with little lights in it. Oh yes, this is really pretty. We're going to keep it like that. And when once this is dry and I can peel it off, I'll be back with you and I'll assemble the lamp. And I'll tell you how to do that. Because if you like something like this, you can do it too. Okay guys, see you later. Okay, this is all dry and I already started to take the front off the back like that and now we have this really thin bit of plastic where the uh, uh, the print is on now I made a frame and as you can see there is double-sided tape on the sides and I'm gonna lay it flat I'm going to go and see which, which are the nice parts. I think this is going to work. So we're going to lay that on there. And stick it on there. That's about it. And then I want to cut the excess off. Just take the paper off for a bit. Ew, my little knife isn't really sharp enough, but we'll have to do. I'll have to put a new blade in there. And down this side. Oops. There we go. Now the, the frame is made from a uh, cardboard and we need two of these to make a complete square and that's what we've done. So I'm going to cut off this excess and this is just the prototype guys because you know it's not really neatly done but just to see uh, for the effects. So this is two sides. This is the other two sides. Now, I've made, this is the lamp. As you can see here, we have, um, this is a inside of a kitchen, you know, those paper towel things. And we put in a little, see there, the lights. And this is just cardboard. I made a bottom, made a few sides. I put inside, I put the uh, where the batteries are and made a little hole here that I can turn it on and off. And now all I have to do is put these zippity doo -da, put these on like that. This is one side and I think I'll have to do it with a little bit of sticky tape just, you know, to show you guys how that works. So I'm going to do the sticky tape down here. And oops, don't fall off. And one down here. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Then the other side. Here, oops, 
get on there. Okay. And then when we turn it, we have our little lamp. And I'll, I'm going to show you when I totally, you know, really finished it because this is just, you know, to show you how I assemble it. Now on top, I'm going to put a piece of thick paper. I'm going to cut out little stars. So when, when you have this on your nightstand, this is a child's project, by the way. So when you have it on your nightstand, it'll uh, shoot up the shadows on the ceiling with little stars in it. That's going to be really nice. But as you can see how pretty that is. So uh, I'll be right back when I've totally finished it. So this is the finished piece. And as you can see, it has all these nice little panels in it. I put the little stars on top. And uh, this is just a prototype. I didn't really seal off the sides that well, but it's just to give you the idea of uh, what it looks like. And of course, there's a little hole somewhere or down here to so turn it on and off. And uh, that's my little project. So thanks for watching, everyone. Love you all to pieces. I'll show it to you in the dark. And then I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. And this is the finished piece in the dark. So as you can see, it gives a nice little bit of light. And this would be really nice for a kid's, uh, for a kid's nightstand. And there is a timer in it. And it's battery operated, so it's safe. So that's it.